The basic personality of the preclear, the person himself, wants to conquer his engrams. But he can't audit himself, and that's a proven fact. Auditing is a cooperative effort. Here's why. A preclear's analytical mind is shut down whenever he reaches an engram, so he can't pursue it and recount it without the help of an auditor. Okay. What do you hear? Plus, in that moment, the force of his reactive mind is greater than he is. Um. He lacks enough persistence, enough dynamic thrust to persevere. I understand. But the auditor isn't affected by the preclear's engrams. She has the full use of her analytical power and a strong dynamic thrust. And this is one of the primary reasons why auditing works. The auditor's dynamic thrust plus the preclear's dynamic thrust are greater than the force in the preclear's bank. So when they join forces against the reactive mind, it gives up its engrams. And uh, basically, the target is the engram, not the preclear. If you attack or criticize or doubt your preclear, or in any way seem to side against her, you're turning your dynamic thrust against her. Honey, I think you're imagining things. I don't think your mother would do that. Don't tell me what she did. You weren't there. This allows the preclear's engram bank to overwhelm her. And instead of attacking the engram, she'll be attacking you. You are the worst auditor ever. Almost anything that goes wrong in a session can be traced back to this serious mistake. I just don't buy it. That's all. I don't oh, feel like it's an you actual... Don't buy the only thing which resists is the engram. If your preclear swears or moans or weeps or pleads, those are engrams talking, not the basic personality of the preclear. I don't know. I can't hear what he's saying. You know what? I don't want to do it anymore. Just tell me what you see. It's not that hard. So the moment you, the auditor, make the mistake of thinking that the preclear herself is resisting, you've made a fundamental and costly error. I told you, I don't want to do this anymore. I quit. <laughs> don't yell at me. I'm trying to help. You're the one that's not trying. I am absolutely trying. You're just There's only one way that a therapy can be thoroughly, completely upset, and that's by a deviation from the auditor's code. This can't be stressed enough. That's why the auditor's code is so vitally important. It's the code of conduct that every auditor must follow if you want to get results. No preclear will respond to an auditor who does not adhere to this code. Let's take a look at it point by point. The auditor should be courteous in his treatment of all preclears. To be courteous means to be polite, respectful, and considerate. Have a seat. Thank you. Thanks. Being courteous shows that you respect your preclear and your position as an auditor. Great. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, I guess so. The auditor should be kind. No matter what your preclear says, never get angry with him or be cruel or antagonistic in any way. Okay, please continue. I can't. I can't even see where I'm at. Are you sure we're doing this right? No, I think you made a mistake. Okay, you're doing fine. Please continue. Are there any smells there? Just remember, the engram is resisting, not your preclear. Dried leaves. The auditor should be quiet during therapy. Don't use any more words than are absolutely necessary during a Dianetic session. I hit my, my front teeth right on the concrete. Wow. Hey, that happened to me once, too. I, you're not going to believe this, but let me tell you the story. I'm flying down this hill, and all of a sudden, I go right over my handlebars, and my face smacks right into the ground, and my two front teeth are mine. The auditor should be trustworthy. The preclear has put her trust in you and that trust should never be betrayed. Always keep your word when given, and don't make commitments or appointments you can't keep. The auditor should be courageous. Never let a hostile preclear or his engrams intimidate you in any way. Oh, the pain. 
Oh, it's throbbing. Oh, listen to me. I've had it. We're done. I understand. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Listen to me! I've had it! I'm gonna knock you across the room unless we end this right now! I understand, but we need to get through this. Go back to the beginning and go over it. If you back off from an engram because you're afraid he'll explode in your face, you're not going to get results. The auditor should be patient. My mom's saying something. I think we're leaving. I'm not sure. Don't become restless or annoyed by the pre-clear, no matter what she's doing or saying. Okay, look. This is taking forever. Now, can you try to get through this so we can both get home at a reasonable hour? If you get angry with her, you could throw her into an apathy which could take many more hours to undo. The auditor should be thorough. Never allow your plan of work to be swayed or an engram to be avoided. Go to the moment you learned about your father's death. I'm not really up for that today. Can we find something else to run? I understand. Let's give it a try. Let's go to the moment you learned about your father's death. Okay. The auditor should be persistent. No, this couldn't have happened. It must just be my imagination. I understand. Please continue. No, I'm telling you. It can't be true. It's just my imagination. Well, what do you see? Never give up. Keep going until you get results. The auditor should be uncommunicative. Never giving the preclear any information whatsoever about her engrams or her aberrations. This includes giving any further estimates of time and therapy or any evaluations of the data. Do you think that's why my mother and I have never gotten along? Well, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's why. There are several other things an auditor should not do if he wants his pre-clear to progress well. You'll find a list of these at the end of Chapter 9, Part 2, under the heading Dianetic Don'ts. However, there are a few that must be mentioned here. One of the most serious crimes you could commit against your pre-clear is to invalidate his data. And I'm trying to stay on the horse, even though I've been stabbed in the stomach with a bayonet. They're firing their muskets at me. Never question or correct your pre-clear's information. Never tell him it's wrong, false, or imaginary. Keep your reservations to yourself. I'm falling off my horse. I'm scared. I'm lying on the battlefield, bleeding. Oh, come on. This didn't really happen. I think you're imagining this. Let's try to find a real engram. This is a real engram. I can see it. OK. Please, continue. If you invalidate it, you'll shake his confidence in his own data and you'll give him a serious setback. It's a very destructive thing to do. Likewise, never evaluate your pre-clear's data or tell him what's wrong with him. Wow. That's why you always have migraine headaches. Do you get it? If you compute for your pre-clear, you're preventing him from making his own computations. He and he alone knows what his data means. Never leave an engram half reduced. That's it. You know, I'm tired of running this engram. I think I'd like to run the time when I got burned. I understand. There may be more in this one. Go back to the beginning and go over it again. Pick up whatever additional data you can contact. Reduce every engram which is contacted, or go earlier and find the basic engram on that chain. And don't ever bring your preclear back to present time just because she begs you to. Please don't make me talk about this anymore. It, oh, it really hurts to think about it. I understand, but the only way out of it is through it. Please continue. Just remember that every moan or sob is one step closer to the goal. Can I hear the 
don't feel frightened or sympathetic about something which will leave your pre-clear happier once it's been run out. So don't quit, don't balk. Work with the basic personality, the pre-clear himself, and ignore his engram's efforts to interfere. Just follow the auditor's code and keep running engrams. And one day, you'll have a clear. Now, there are five possible methods of handling an engram, but only one resolves the problem. Which one should you choose?